You know, I never expected the distilled manna would have such a pleasant flavor. Mm. Very tropical, I suppose you'd call it. Not normally something I'd enjoy, but it's almost addicting. Of course, the most pleasant thing about it is the rush of power that courses through my body after I swallow. Mana sprites are quite possibly the most remarkable creatures in the world. Mm. Turning magic into a form that living things can directly absorb. How unbelievably useful you are. Oh, but you look exhausted too. Don't worry. We can take a nice long break, my pet. I won't even put you in your cage for now. You've been naughty lately, but I think I can trust you not to try and run today, can't I? Yes. You're far too sleepy, aren't you? You go right ahead and rest on my lap. Mm. You know, owning a pet has been far more trouble than I assumed it would be. Much more complicated than ordering around minions. But it's rather rewarding, I'll admit. I think... You're the first living thing that I've had developed genuine affection for. Did you know that? I didn't think I was unhappy before, but I find myself in a much better mood nowadays. And I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that things have never been better for my research. Your distilled mana has completely turned the tide for me. The Eastern Kingdom's alliance is on the run. They can barely manage to keep their soldiers on the battlefield anymore. But of course, you already knew that. That's how it's been ever since you got here. But more recently, another marvelous thing happened. I believe I told you about my rival, didn't I? Or the one who claims to be my rival anyway. The evil queen of Garul is how most know her. Although she hates the term. Well, she's actually gone from a rival to an ally. Quite a surprise, let me tell you. And right after I told her I was coming for her, I'll admit, after I started turning back the alliance, I got a little caught up in the moment. I essentially told her I was going to turn my armies on her after I was finished with them. There wasn't much reason for that, and I probably wouldn't have gone through with it. But then she went and made me an offer. Hmm, a sweet offer. As useful as my magical minions are, they're not very good at detail work. So one thing I've always been low on is magical artifacts. Those need a more refined touch. So I need to make most of them myself. 
but she's gotten practically half of her empire working on them and selling them to me for cheap. Between the artifacts and your mana, I have twice the resources I had before. My magical research is leaping ahead faster than most nations could manage. Oh? Why, what a silly question. Of course I still need you. You didn't think I was going to just let you go once I was no longer at war, did you? If anything, it's even more important to keep extracting that delicious manna. At this rate, immortality is finally a dream I could reach. Oh, my dear. Now don't make that face. You know how much I hate to see you sad, my pet. It's practically cheating. Oh, I suppose I can lighten your burden a little bit. It's not as though I don't have time. My research hasn't managed to make me immortal yet, but it's kept me young, at least. I'll tell you what. What if I gave you a whole day off? Every single week? Normally I wouldn't dream of such a thing. But you've been so terribly useful. I would hate to drive you to an early grave. Marvelous, darling. And perhaps if you have that little break, You'll be a little bit more energetic. As sweet as it is when you curl up in my lap. I can't help but think it's a shame that you never fly anymore. Even if it is that you usually try to escape when you fly. You know... If I had a few more mana sprites, I could afford to let you have two days off. Maybe even three. Come now, must you be so stingy? I know that your job is tiring, but don't you find it at least a little fulfilling? One or two extractions a day, and you spend the rest of your time in luxury, while simultaneously knowing that you're contributing to the advancement of magical knowledge. I'm sure any friends or family of yours would love this much better than farming. Hmm... Well, I don't much like your tone, but I won't be too hard on you for not leading me to the others. Loyalty is a good trait, after all. Someday, I'll turn it around so that you're loyal to me. Speaking of which, after you've been so very helpful... I've decided that you deserve a bit of pampering. I've prepared a few things for you, pet. For starters, take a look at this. I've made some lovely little additions to your cage. It has a thick, comfy cushion in it now. Isn't that nice? I even threw in a few toys. Now you won't be so bored when I have to leave you in there. Not that I expect that to happen too often, if you're good. With the war all but over, I don't have to leave you nearly as often as before. <laughs> and look at this pet. 
I've finally gotten a little outfit tailored for you. As I mentioned before, my minions aren't good with delicate tasks, so I've had to find someone to do this for me. Isn't it so much better than that little... What even is that that you're wearing? A tunic? Made of leaves, I think? This suits you so much better. I'm normally not one to fuss over aesthetics, but... I decided that for you, I simply had to make it look perfect. Those beads woven into it are real gold, you know. They look so pretty next to your violet skin. And it doesn't just look good. Feel that material. It's soft and luxurious. Believe it or not, this is actually from the Queen. Not all magical artifacts are magical orbs or totems. This fabric is not only comfortable, but magically enhanced for strength and temperature regulation. I'm having a set made for me as well, but naturally it will take a bit longer. Here, try it on. Go ahead. <laughs> That's adorable. You're really worried about modesty. I see that's not just a human idea. All right. I'll look away for a moment. But if you try to use this opportunity to escape, you know what the consequences will be. Hmm. Please hurry. I hope you're only changing and not trying to escape. Okay. Time's up, my little precious pet. <gasps> I knew you would look darling in it. See? Isn't it nice and comfortable too? I wouldn't saddle for anything less for my beloved pet. And there's one more little surprise for you. Tell me, do these look familiar? Mm-hmm. The berries you mana sprites are so fond of eating. Go ahead, try one. Oh? What's the matter? You seem anxious. Worried that I found where all the mana sprites live? Unfortunately, no. I've had my minions scouring the area where you were found, but they've yet to find any others. You never did tell me why you were on your own. Perhaps you got lost and wandered far away from the others. Or maybe you just aren't as good at hiding as your little friends. Either way, none have turned up. But we've certainly found many of these berry bushes. So I've had my minions gather some for you. We've even started to cultivate a little garden for the future. Go ahead, dear pet. Give it a try. Oh, if your face is anything to go by, then it didn't taste very good. Let me give one a taste. Yuck. Bitter. I assume they don't normally taste like this. Hmm. Is that what your distilled mana is for? Perhaps it improves the flavor and nutrition. In that case, the bushes my minions found must be wild berries. 
That explains why there were no mana sprites. Well, perhaps I can devote a small portion of distilled mana to cultivating these for you, if you'd like. I'd be very curious to see exactly how it's done. Hmm. My dear pet, I'm very deeply sorry that this last present was a bit of a bust. But as I recall, you did enjoy those custard tarts last week. I'll have to have some more of those whipped up for you instead. Why don't you just relax on my lap for a while now? I've been working out how you like to be stroked. It feels a little silly sometimes, stroking a tiny humanoid creature. But I know you love it, despite how much you try to pretend you don't. Let's see. I determined that you most enjoyed some nice little head pads first. I assume it's less intense or something along those lines. <laughs> and once you've relaxed a little, I run my fingernails lightly down your back. <laughs> That's it. Look at you. You're practically purring. Are you sleepy? I'm not surprised. Today marks your 107th consecutive day of extraction. Don't worry. We'll take that day off tomorrow. You go ahead and drift off to sleep. When you wake up, we can do whatever you like. Thanks to you, I have the free time for that sort of thing now. Rest well, my dear beloved pet.